Awesome. So hello, welcome everyone. We are so excited for today's 12 o'clock session. As you can see, we are with President Holloway, president of Rutgers University, um, which is a fantastic opportunity for us and you all to be able to interact with him. We'll really find out what he enjoys, what are his interests. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into introductions. We'll go over what the program's gonna look like and then we'll ask away. Uh, so my name is Brandon. If you were tuning in since this morning, you know I'll be one of the frequent flyers of today's YouTube Live. Um, I am a senior in the School of Arts and Sciences studying economics with a double minor in psychology and leadership skills. I'm a first generation college student from Baltimore, Maryland, so I am an out-of-stater. On campus, I've had the opportunity to be a building operations manager at one of our student centers, and I'm currently a Scarlet Ambassador Captain for undergraduate admissions. My co-host for today's program will be Kira, so I'll go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hi everyone, my name is Kira. You might have seen me answering questions in the chat this morning. Uh, I'm a junior in the Mason Grove School of the Arts and the Honors College, majoring in music performance with a double minor in organizational leadership and theater. I am from Piscataway, New Jersey. I'm a Central Jersey gal. And here on campus, I am the music coordinator for the Livingston Theater Company. And I'm also president of the Mason Grove Student Governing Association. Awesome. Thanks, Kira. So we are both so excited uh, to be able to interview our man of the hour. So if you don't mind introducing yourself, President Holloway. Uh, I'm Jonathan Holloway, president of Rutgers. Uh, I clearly have copied Brandon in the glasses game. Um, so I was fanboying him from a distance. I decided I had to come to Rutgers. Uh, this is my first year at the university. So it's been a bit of unusual first year, but I'm, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to come to campus in the fall and have the place teeming with you, with all of you, making this place the special place we know it to be. Awesome, thank you. Well, we are so excited, like I was saying, to get to know you. Today's session will be all about having fun and just learning more about who you are, President Holloway. So we have three different sections worth of questions and then we'll wrap things up. Our first section will be autocomplete, very similar to a wired interview style of question where President Holloway has a board full of Google questions. He'll peel them off one at a time. We'll learn some answers there. We're gonna head into a favorite section. So we'll learn things like his favorite color or his favorite sports team. And then we'll finish things up with a this or that New Jersey edition. So we'll go all in about New Jersey culture. We'll find out what side President Holloway's on before we wrap things up with just some general pieces of advice from everyone on the call today. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna pass it on over to Kira. Awesome, thanks, Brandon. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first little uh, phase of questions here. So President Hallway, if you could pull out that board with our Google autocomplete questions, yes, perfect. There, the whole thing's right there. Awesome, great. And we'll just go ahead and get started with our first questions. So if you wanna go ahead and peel away that first one. You know, on these videos, people are always are struggling. How hard can it be? <laughs> it's actually a little bit difficult. We'll have to see. <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right. Does President Holloway play any sports? Well, I used to a long time ago when my body didn't feel 53 years old. Uh, <laughs> when I was in college, I played football. Well, I watched football. I was on the football team. And, um, <laughs> and uh, so there's, there's more to that story, of course. My, my main thing during, um, I'm trying to get this sticky thing off my hand for the next <laughs> image. Um, uh, the next reveal. The main thing I do now, actually, with um, with COVID, is I I got one of those you know fancy exercise bikes, and that's oh, how I get. A, I'm a big. I mean, if you start me on a whole Peloton conversation, I'll be one of those crazies <laughs> who won't stop. So we'll just. I just why an unnamed exercise bike. So I'm in the basement huffing and puffing and trying to work through all the interesting challenges of this year in our life. I hear you. Great. Yeah. I took some uh, cycling classes right here at Rutgers during the pandemic. I really got into it. <laughs> you know, I live right by these gym gymnasia, but I can't, you know, getting in is a whole other issue this year. It's just very, it's going to be better next year. There's no doubt about it, but uh, I yeah. can't wait to use the facilities here too. For sure. For sure. All right. Our next question, which is where is President Holloway's? <sighs> This is really difficult. Uh, favorite place to travel. Um, 
boy, I mean, right now, like going anywhere is my favorite place to travel. I mean, this is, this is not that, this is just the year we're all having. The favorite place, um, if anybody's been to Martha's Vineyard off of Massachusetts coast, that's astonishing. And I, I just, the first time there, I didn't think a place like that could exist. I mean, and it's close by, so that's pretty wonderful. In terms of outside the US, um, I went to two, three summers ago, went to Italy for the first time. And I refuse to believe that anything lives up to the hype. You know, something gets really like built up, I'm like it's not gonna be that good. It was that good, it's kind of <laughs> astonishing. One day I'll get back there. I got to tell you, I look forward to my daily travel to Target. So I understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Trader Joe's later today and I'm pumped. Oh I'm my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yep, totally relate. Awesome. So our next question, which is, was President Holloway ever on The Bachelor? Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? <laughs> It's not as simple as, I'm trying to get the, there we go. It's not as simple as one thing. Have I been on The Bachelor? No, I've never seen an episode of The Bachelor. I know there's something with the rose and there's always some sort of controversy over this or that. Um, yeah. But if you Google Jonathan Holloway, you may find me first, but you may also find Jonathan Holloway from The Bachelor, I think season eight or something like that. Ironically, or coincidentally, also African-American. Um, <laughs> And so at some point I was, you know, people, you know, you Google yourself, right? And then I'm like, who's this guy? And I guess whatever season that was, I was getting a little bent out of shape because if you ever Google, I mean, you just got Jonathan Holloway bachelor mm -hmm. for like the entire year. <laughs> um, he's faded away. I'm still around though. <laughs> I'm really curious if you did participate in a reality TV competition show, which one would it have been? Oh, um, well, my wife, who you, eventually you all will meet, um, uh, she has become hooked on Survivor. Yes. Just in the last, our daughter yeah. got her into it over Christmas or something. And it's beginning to irritate me because <laughs> like, I wonder where my wife is. And it's like, she's like hooked into like season 20, there's like 40 seasons or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> she's halfway through. Um, but she loves being outdoors and loves challenges. So she'd go on Survivor. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely never go on Survivor. <laughs> but, but the one show I would do, and I do it with her, is, um, what, what is it, the, um, the Amazing Race? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. That sounds pretty cool. That's like a little bit of the travel, a little bit of the Survivor without eating grubs. And <laughs> like, you know, and you get to be with your partner. That sounds, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah no, that's totally a great good. choice. I, I've I've never actually seen the show. I just know about it. So. <laughs> totally. Awesome. So we'll move right into our next question, which says, what does President Holloway? Do in my free time. Well, so I mentioned my wife. I, we have uh, been married 22 years and a son and daughter. So if I have free time and I'm thinking non-COVID times, you know, sure. it's really, it's like family quality time, frankly. Mm -hmm. We love playing games. If any, we call it the train game, but it's called Ticket to Ride. If anybody oh, knows yeah. that, love I've never that heard game. of it. Oh That's my God. For the first time over spring break. Yeah. It's, it, so much fun. Lots of family <laughs> arguments over it, but the best kind. Um, if, if I can get my family interested in it, I'd play Monopoly all the time. Oh um, yeah. There's some Monopoly card game that my, my niece- Monopoly deal. Yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> yes. I love it so much. My niece, <laughs> my niece mentioned it and I got it from my wife as a Christmas present thinking maybe she'll get and like obsessed, obsessed with that game. <laughs> I'm beaming. I love Monopoly deal so much. <laughs> but my free time, we also have two dogs and two cats. So like this morning I took the dogs on a long Saturday walk and, uh, you know, that's just quality kind of quiet time more than anything else. Do you prefer your cats over your dogs? Are you about equal? I'm a dog guy, been one my entire life. Um, these are, our, we have two, this is our uh, one, two, three, fourth and fifth dogs, got them at the same time. But my wife grew up with all kinds of animals. At one point, 
she had 13 animals, different, or the, the family had 13 different animals, 11 of which were in the house. Um, and, uh, um, and she mentioned getting cats. I'm like, I don't want to get cats. My mother was very allergic, so we could never have cats. Mm-hmm. Um, but she goes, I, I really want to get a cat. And this is when we had moved to Northwestern about five, four years ago. And our daughter wanted a cat. I'm like, the thing I was worried about is I'd take care of the cats. Like, I don't want to take, I mean, I already had the dogs. And then my wife said, the closest we ever came to an argument, she goes, we moved the entire family to Chicago for you. <laughs> and I'm like, I guess we're getting cats tomorrow. Yeah, what do you say in response? <laughs> <laughs> and they're great. They're actually, they're, they're totally entertaining. Our, our poor, we have a, they're sibling cats. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the girl tries desperately to get the dogs to play with her. <laughs> it's an ongoing, you know, that's a reality TV show that we do spend a lot of time watching. <laughs> and the dogs are just like, stay away from me. But she keeps trying. Yeah. That's so funny. All right. Our next question, which says, which state was President Holloway? Warning. I was born uh, in Hawaii. Yeah, and uh, um, my father's in the Air Force then. So I, I was born in a military hospital mm-hmm. called Tripler Hospital. It's like coral pink. I think it's still, it's no longer, I think it's, I think it's actually a military insane asylum now, like <laughs> literally. So I don't know what happened there, but, but yeah, I was born in Hawaii, lived there for two years mm-hmm. and have no, of course, memory of it, but have gone back probably half a dozen times in my life. Wow. Pretty, pretty amazing. So you're an out-of-stater just like me. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) That's so cool. All right. And our next question, which we kind of already touched on, but I, of course, would love to hear more about. I don't know what the question is. Oh, yes. Any pets? Got any pets? Yep. (laughs) I'm a huge animal lover. I'd love to know your pets' names. So we have, so there's always a little story. (laughs) <laughs> we had always had rescue animals, uh, my wife and I. So we'd had, you know, some sort of lab mix, some sort of shepherd mix that we literally, it was a stray on the street that we rescued. And we had those dogs until they passed away. Mm-hmm. And it was so traumatic. I'm, like, I'm not doing that again. I can't. It, I mean, it's just heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Then we, we bought a place, uh, a home that was, that was in the suburbs, but it backed up to parkland. Mm. So our woods became park. And my wife said, you know, this place is crying out for dogs i'm like whoa 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 we aren't doing this anymore and then how do we get to plural not even we skipped over <laughs> one to two and there's a whole long story but the, the bottom line of course is that we now have these two dogs um they were actually housewarming gifts from my uncle a long story when we see each other in person i'll tell it to you it's a great story <laughs> they were they were they they're the exact same breed by pure coincidence um one was born in um Poughkeepsie, New York, Mm -hmm. the other born in the Dallas Fort Worth area, Mm -hmm. a month apart in age. Mm -hmm. Again, there's that long story I'm referencing. We get them at eight weeks and 12 weeks, about a week apart. And the second they saw each other's love at first sight. And so they they look identical. Like they look like they are literally brothers, Yeah, but they're born a half a country apart. It's just the breed. So they're two, if you know your, their, their Labrador retrievers, but they're, they're, um, English labs, which is a very particular kind. Mm. They got very big heads and sort of shorter bodies. <laughs> yeah. um, 10 years old, they're great. And then we have, um, um, no, it's Joey and Parker, sorry. Mm-hmm. Joey and Parker. And then our cats are Sully and Lucy. And, and the students might appreciate this, is that they were, we picked them up at a rescue shelter in Chicago. They're from the same litter. And they had been named by the shelter, Sully and Boo from Monsters, Monsters Inc. Yeah. <laughs> but then our daughter decided she was on a very, she was on an arrested development kick. And so <laughs> Lucy is named after Lucille Bluth. Um, oh, okay. And she sort of has the attitude to go along with it. And, and Sully, I don't know, his name never got changed. So it's Sully, Lucy, yeah. Joey, and Parker. Those are great names. Yeah, very cute. And I, in addition to being an animal lover, I'm a huge Disney fan. So I really appreciate the most <laughs> big reference. <laughs> awesome. And I think we have one more question on the board, which is what is President Holloway's? Oh, 
vision for Rutgers. I'm going to put this down. This thing is getting awkward to hold. <laughs> My vision for Rutgers is I want people think of undergrads. I want them to come to Rutgers and know they are the most amazing institution. Mm -hmm. I want them to like, we're all wearing swag right now because we're doing this thing. I want them to wear Rutgers stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. I want them to be pumped about here. And in order to do make that happen, we need to be a place that really demonstrates that we care about our students, mm -hmm. that we wanna push them in the academic space, we want to support them in the what I'll call the co-curricular space and the extracurricular space. Um, and we want to see them realize their talents. And I mean, so um, uh, Brandon, your talents, oh, oh gosh, ec no, economics? Yes. Yeah, economics, yeah, like your talents in that space and Kira's in the performance space. Like we want to make sure that we have like the best faculty for you. We want to make sure we get the best facilities for you. Some are great, some need a little TLC. We wanna make sure we get those places mm -hmm. um, where we need to be so that when you leave Rutgers, you know you'll have left one of the very best public institutions in the country, one of the very best universities in the country. Mm -hmm. So that's my vision for Rutgers to make it a place that is where the people are obnoxiously proud <laughs> to be there, to be in this really cool environment um, where they were tested where they were pushed, where they excelled, and um, in a place they want to call home, even if home is Baltimore, that they still will call Rutgers home. And if, well, Kira, Rutgers is home, like literally <laughs> every single way, but you want to make sure it stays that way. And yeah. that means we see the students where they are, we support them, we work towards equity and inclusion, everything that we do, and we have this sparkling um, academic environment and extracurricular and co-curricular environment that you just want to brag about to everybody you meet. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah I'm excited about it. That vision coming to light over the next few years. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. No, for sure. I'm so thankful and excited that the Rutgers degree is going to be behind my name. So hearing you talk about it and your vision, I think is going to be really inspiring to all of the prospective students on our call today. I uh, hope so. so. Yeah, as we head into the second section, we're going to talk all about your favorites. So like yes. I was saying, favorite color, favorite TV show, we'll go into it. Uh, so right. and I each have a jar full of some questions. We'll take turns pulling them out one by one. It'll be a little bit more of a quicker session, but we definitely want to be able to talk to you about each one as well. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll, I'll start ready. us off. Can you tell us your favorite breakfast cereal? I don't eat breakfast cereal. Okay. Are you even a <laughs> breakfast person? You know, if, if it were truly up to me, if my metabolism allowed it, I'd eat donuts every day for breakfast, but I, I can't do that. So I have a, have a piece of fruit and that's, that's my breakfast. Hey, that is sufficient. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the second question. Now we know you haven't really been on campus too much, but have you been able to find your favorite spot on the Rutgers New Brunswick campus? You know, there are, there are lots of different options there, right? So if I'm on the College Avenue campus, mm -hmm. Voorhees Mall, when, and when the cherry blossoms are coming in. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Stunning, right? Yes. And Beautiful. then Douglas and Cook, I just, I mean, it just feels so relaxed and mellow. Yeah. Um, just like walking around the lawns and such. Or the, and then we'll cook with the animals. That's, that's just really cool on that end of yeah. the campus. Um, for me, like a, a beautiful place, frankly, I walk, the, I walk my dogs every day. I live on Bush campus. So just sort of like being in the moment, walking around, a lot of athletic facilities where I live. So that yeah. feels cool. Mm -hmm. And then, but Livingston, it may have to be, from what I hear, I, well, I've been in it a couple of times now, is the rack. Like I, I watched half a dozen men's and women's basketball games there. And even with 80 people, that was it. Um, it's like basically staff and occasionally a family member could come. Um, it was a really cool space, but I've heard, well, I've seen on TV from past games before I got here, that place is out of control. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> during the game. So, yeah. so it literally comes to life. <laughs> yeah. And so there's all these different ways of discovering Rutgers, right? Mm -hmm. And each, each of the campuses has like a really cool element to it. For sure. I know for me, and I might be impartial because I'm a Scarlet ambassador. I love the revolutionary sign out front of the visitor center. Yes. I cannot wait to take my graduation picks there. It means so much to me. It symbolizes so much about what Rutgers is. That's one of my favorite spots. Tell me when you're going to be there. Cause I live 
across the parking lot from there. Yeah. I'll take the pics for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yes. And, you know, I totally have to echo your sentiment about the Cook and Douglas campuses, especially as a Mason Grove student. Yeah. They're just so nice to just walk through and it's so quiet and beautiful. It's just like you there. can exhale, right? You just like breathe. Yeah. And like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll ask our next question. We'll pull from my little jar here. And it is, what is your favorite New Jersey cultural phenomenon? I know you're not from this neck of the woods, but. <laughs> well, no, that's a hard question to answer because I moved here in June. We've been remote and living in a bubble basically. So I've, I've, you know, I know where Trader Joe's is and I know where the pet store is. That's <laughs> sort of like every other week, that's my exciting get out of the bubble experience. <laughs> um, but, but here's a reveal. So I did, a, I did a, a recording for an event that goes live at four o'clock today uh -huh. that I've heard is a major cultural experience. So for sure. know, it's, Dance marathon. Woo! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Beyond just being a huge Rutgers event, it is one of the biggest philanthropic events in the whole state. Yeah. Yeah, no. Shout out RUDM. Yeah. I'll yeah. see the camera doesn't pick it up. There we go. I'll just, I'll, <laughs> yes. I'll just sit up real high. <laughs> Dance marathon is definitely an excellent answer. Personally, my favorite New Jersey cultural phenomenon is our diner scene, diner capital of the country. <laughs> That's so I hear. I mean, I know there's tons of diners, but you know, I've, I've only eaten outside at a tent right now. So I'm, I'm waiting right. to get inside. But God, I love diner food. Are you kidding me? For sure. All right. And I'll have, pull another question here. Let's see what this one says. What favorite Rutgers experience are you looking forward to when the world looks a little more normal? Well, gosh, I, I think, I mean, I'm so curious about seeing that rack full. And it just, people kept telling me, I'd be sitting next to the athletic director or the chancellor, and they would say, you know, you will need earplugs next year that this place is gonna be <laughs> so crazy. So that that's sort of a thing, but you know, honestly, um, just seeing, it, it's, it doesn't quite, I'm fudging the answer, just seeing students like on campus will be really exciting. Um, I did a recording in the Honors College, um, just this sort of stuff I do for a, a donor video, and seated across the way of the lounge were like a handful of students were actually living, a very few number of people on campus. And there were five students, and they were the, that's the most number of students i had been able to interact with since I got here. So, I mean, in person. So I kind of probably like freaked them out because I came almost running over to them and like, <laughs> Oh my God, let's talk about things. And thankfully one of them knew who I was or else had been like, who's this weird guy who's like <laughs> this kind of studying. So it's just, I want to, I just want to see people again. I want to see students on the campus making it yeah. live. Well, wait until you see students celebrating hot dog day. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I never heard of hot dog day. Oh my gosh. Well, you wait until College Avenue shut down and people are eating hot dogs left and right. There's zip lining, there's giant inflatable hungry, hungry hippos or whatever it is that's happening. It is so much fun. Yeah. That's awesome. We'll see for the, you know, the first year students in this Zoom, in this Zoom, in this, on this, um, <laughs> this um, YouTube live, uh, we'll be experiencing it all together for the first time. So, you know, that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> all right. So I'll pull on our next question. What is your favorite binge worthy TV show? What are you watching right now? Easy. I am so sad about this because it's over. Watchmen. What is I'm, it? I've never heard of it. Yeah. What? <laughs> never heard of the Watchmen? All of a sudden, we have disappointed you. Oh, <laughs> yes, you have actually. <laughs> the Watchmen. I think it. I think it did air originally about a couple years ago. It was on. Um, I see it on HBO Max. So HBO or something like that. This. There are a bunch of, of people watching this video whose minds are being blown right now because I've watched The Watchmen. I promise you that. Those are my people. Um, it's this really <laughs> amazing sort of allegory about this country, about technology, about race, about citizenship. It is, and all through like this absurdist fantasy world that is like just a handful of years away from us. I'm telling you. The Watchmen with Regina King starring in it. Okay, maybe I'll give it a try. Yeah, definitely adding it to my list. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, the next question for you. Favorite sports team? Anything with a with a block R, for goodness sakes. Come on. <laughs> that was a good answer. Good <laughs> answer. Totally. It's like we're in family feud, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to say, the Rutgers sports, um, which have had some struggles, are killing it right now. I mean, we have a number wow. of, like, Half a dozen teams in the top 20 in the country um, routinely beating other Big Ten rivals. I mean, this, you all will be coming here at a very special moment in Rutgers athletic history. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right. I have a few more questions left in my little jar here. So let's see what our next one says. Favorite book? What have you been reading in quarantine? Well, as you can see, I've got a couple <laughs> of books. Quite a few. Um, Yes. And as, as, as Brandon and Kira knew that I was worried that if I was asked this question, what would I do? But I, I finally pieced it together. I mean, I've, I could give you 20 different books for different reasons, but for like, for fun reading, I read um, Cloud Atlas uh, this past, um, yeah, this past summer. If any of you have read Cloud Atlas, you know exactly why, what I mean when I said my mind was blown. Yeah. I don't know how, I've written a number of books. I don't know how that guy pulled that off, wrote that book. Check it out. Great read. <laughs> Definitely will be adding that to my summer yeah. reading list for sure. <laughs> yeah, I've heard maybe don't check out the movie. but the book Oh no, you could pass on the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't worry about the movie. Just read the book. <laughs> Great. And my last question here is your favorite song to play on repeat. Oh, all right. That's really hard, but I, I, I'm going to fudge the answer. I'm going to tell you an era and an album mm -hmm. or maybe in two art, an era and artists. So early 1970s, Marvin Gaye's album, What's Going On? Mm -hmm. the, oh, yeah. And it's not oh, like yeah. one song. It's the you've got to listen to yeah. it from beginning to end in, in order because it's one narrative. Mm -hmm. And Stevie Wonder in the early 70s from like 72 to 77, thereabouts, released five or six albums. And people might know Stevie Wonder for these lovely pop songs. They're fine. You listen to the albums, Stevie Wonder's really like super political in the early 70s in a way that most people don't know. Mm -hmm. And the, the stuff that, and then for you youngsters, you'll recognize a lot of um, uh, artists' music that you know is familiar, that's familiar to you. Right. Guess what? They're sampling Stevie Wonder stuff. Yeah, I bet. Um, of course. Like, uh, well, whatever. You'll discover it. Um, <laughs> check, them out. check them out. And for the I'll jazz know. folks in the audience, I mean, it's like, of course, Miles Davis kind of blue or 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 Keith Jarrett's Colm concert. So that, but there's no one song. Those are those are experiences. Yes. Right. No, I'll add them to my Spotify playlist. They Definitely. should. I'm telling yeah. you. <laughs> Amazing. You got choices. Prince, and you got all oh, these all these other people. You know. Yeah. Well, this music major definitely approves of all of those for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll continue on. What is your favorite thing about Rutgers? Oh, well, that's also no brainer, but it's a tease, right? It's uh -huh. the students. I mean, you already got a sense of that. When I saw those students in the honors college, I'm like, ah, oh, I had to go over and see them. <laughs> um, and, and um, you know, Brandon and I have interacted a couple of times now via the screen mm -hmm. but I could I mean look I got the same glasses as he has clearly you know <laughs> I'm trying to be like Brandon um so no it really in all seriousness I love being at universities because okay the endless curiosity the the opportunity to do research I love teaching all those things are great but without students there it's kind of meaningless to me mm -hmm. um because you you all bring a level of energy a level of, and I say this with love, the kind of confidence an 18 year old brings about knowing the world, like this is the way it is. And, and the professor's <laughs> like, well, let's try this anyway and find and watch your, your, your certainty evolve into like, oh wait, I don't know, to like, wait, I figured something out. Like that's the best thing. So for me, it really is about interacting with students, helping create an atmosphere where they can, blossom in unexpected ways and discover things they never knew existed that's yeah. that's what it's all about 
no, Kira, I don't know if you just heard, but he just said that his favorite thing is us. So yeah, that's I mean, very cool. <laughs> don't get too full of yourselves, but yes, I do say that. <laughs> All right, last question, probably the easiest question. Do you have a favorite color? Um, scarlet. Well, it's tough. Is it scarlet or black? I don't know. Scarlet <laughs> and black. <laughs> of course. I think we can all say that deep down that is our favorite color here on the banks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great. Well, as we move into our last phase of questions, this is going to be a quick fire this or that. So uh, this will be a this or that New Jersey edition. So we're going to throw two options at you and you just tell us which one you prefer. Yeah. All right. Uh, so our first this or that is a, new, a heated New Jersey debate, pork roll or Taylor ham? Pass. Next one. Not going to answer it. Go on. <laughs> I don't need it either. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All right, Chicago deep dish or New York style pizza? New York style, please. New York style. Yes. That was the correct answer. <laughs> yes, that was the correct answer. Brandon? All right. Are you a tea or coffee drinker? I don't drink coffee. I've never had it. So tea. Oh, that's so interesting. Look, the interesting. thing I'm hooked on now is Thai iced teas. Oh my God. That oh my God. God. With, with boba, forget it. Yes, um, I'm delicious. A Where do you go for your Thai iced tea? I don't really have a place. Any place like it's like, um, do you serve Thai iced tea? I'm like I'll have that. Um, I've been at like Korean KG, uh, KGB, mm -hmm. um, this Shanghai Dumpling House. Those are the last two places I got. But if you have a recommendation, I want to know. I do. I don't know how you feel about Vietnamese food, but I love pho. Love it. Love there it. is a place over in Piscataway, pho today. They have great pho and fantastic Thai tea. I'm writing this down. Oh, like, write it down. Go down. check it out. <laughs> Got it. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so next, it's always please. a teaching opportunity, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <of> course. <laughs> um, are you? If you are a dessert person, do you prefer pie or cake? Cake. Yellow cake, chocolate frosting. Classic. Oh, interesting. Yum. That's my dad's favorite. <laughs> I like your father very much. <laughs> All right, next question. Does Central Jersey exist? Yes or no? Answer Absolutely. Please. Yes. Right with, answer. I love to hear. With all due respect to my northern and southern brethren and sisterin, sisterin, uh, New Jersey, Central, Central New Jersey absolutely exists. Yes. <laughs> love to hear it. All right. Which do you prefer, TV shows or movies? Oh, um, probably TV shows. Um, and But I don't really watch TV. It's like whatever... It's it's uh, whatever I stream, you know. Yeah. So, because boy, if I sit down for an hour and a half or two hours, it had better keep me awake. That's a that's a tall order. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep, we definitely live in the age of streaming. Yes, yeah, no, for sure. I can't go to the movie theater, or I, or I will fall. Asleep. Ooh, but I love going to movie theaters, though. Really? Oh my god! Yeah. What it's was a, the last movie you saw in the movie theater? Do you remember? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it might have been crazy rich crazy rich asians might have been that. Good one. Okay. yes it might i maybe yeah but i definitely saw that in the theater okay cool and um, i may or may not have watched it five more times i don't know no that's okay <laughs> i understand great movie <laughs> so i know you very much so like music you talked about it earlier but if you had to choose between bruce springsteen or bon jovi who would you choose uh that is a totally inappropriate question to ask in the state of new jersey my friend um <laughs> no i would have to, i'd have to go with my own with my own childhood so that would be that would be the boss okay and then uh, i know you have or you were born in hawaii even though you said you only spent two years there i'm sure you have an opinion does pineapple belong on pizza it is a sin <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's, sure. there's no there's no debating this in fact just yeah. like absolutely not no 100 uh -uh. correct <laughs> <laughs> all right and i got one last question for you when you're here in jersey do you call it the beach or the shore that's the shore please all right Come you're like now. native new jersey and go <laughs> down the shore <laughs> i say the beach this marylander says the beach <laughs> Well, I actually just for the only for the I've only been to the shore once. And that was like two weeks ago, going a little stir crazy uh -huh. and drove out. I didn't really have a destination. I'm just like, I'm driving east and ended up in Atlantic Highlands, which was gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, 
and had amazing ice cream. And I found the my next pizza place, New York thin Neapolitan style that I can't wait to hit up. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you took that little mini trip. We all need a break sometimes. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the last thing we want to talk about is just some advice. So advice for all of these incoming students that are on our call today. Kira and I will both give some advice from our perspective, and then we definitely want to hear any advice that you have as well. So I know for me personally, one of the best pieces of advice, in my opinion, that I give to any incoming student is really think about where you want to live more than just outside of your academics. As a student here at Rutgers New Brunswick, you have all five campuses to choose from. You are going to be more than just a student that is diving deep into their academics. You're going to be involved. You're going to be able to take opportunities and, and use the resources on all five of our campuses. They all offer something unique to you. Each one of our campuses will have a different energy or environment associated with them. A lot of people want to separate work from home. You know, maybe if you want to live on a campus and take all of your classes on a different campus, you have the opportunity to do that. Diversify your experience here at Rutgers. We have so many resources and opportunities for you to do that. So the best advice I give, don't choose where you want to live just solely based on your academics. Kira, what advice do you have? For sure. Uh, a piece of advice I would definitely give to an incoming student, and I wish I could go back in time and tell myself, is don't be afraid to ask for help here at Rutgers, definitely. Um, the university is huge, which can be overwhelming, but also definitely works in our favor because no matter what your question is, there is like at least a dozen resources that are out there to help you. And there are people everywhere who can direct you towards them. So I wish I had been more outgoing about asking for help or advice because there are just so many knowledgeable people on campus, whether it's your classmates or your professors, and they're all so willing to help all the time. Yeah, no, take advantage of all the resources you have. President Holloway, any last words of advice for the audience? Well, I, I wanna echo the advice you both just gave. It's perfect advice. Uh, what I was gonna say is that um, you want to explore. Mm. You are never gonna have these four or five years like this again, where you have incredible freedom with relatively minimum, minimal responsibility um, and the world, I mean, everything that is known, like literally everything that is known, somewhere, somebody at the university is working on it, thinking about it, talking about it. Literally everything that has been known. And so go to office hours, please go to your faculty's office hours, um, ask them questions. If you don't understand something, have, have them explain it to you until you do. But particularly if you know that you are going to major in sociology, just to pick a major. Okay, that's great. Maybe you will be someone who really needs that degree, you know, that major later on. But take a course, I, I would say, if you can manage one a sem once a semester, take a course that you, would, that you never thought you would take, like in some other topic, some other part of the university. Because you may discover that your true love is poetry. Mm -hmm. You may discover your true love is accounting or criminology, or you know, you may discover something you just didn't know. That's the point of the university. So come in with an open mind and explore. No, that's fantastic advice. I will say as a graduating senior, I did that my first semester. I took a class in forensic anthropology. I'm studying economics, but I loved NCIS and I wanted to see what that would be like to be you know, a detective or an investigator. Um, so I, I could really echo what you were saying as well. And I think all of us had one common theme. Rutgers is very big, but because of our size, we have so much to offer you as a student. So take advantage of the resources, take advantage of the opportunities, explore because you have the ability to do so. And so I wanna thank President Holloway for coming on to our session today. It's been fantastic getting to know you. I really thought that Kira and I were able to have a fantastic conversation with you. Uh, throughout the day, we will be having other sessions that you all are more than welcome to tune into. Starting at one o'clock, we will have a session on housing and dining. Uh, so you can go back to Rutgers On Demand to find the correct uh, YouTube live stream link that you'll need to use for the rest of our afternoon sessions. Once again, thank you, President Holloway. Thank you, Kira, for being a fantastic co-host. We cannot wait to see everyone on campus so very soon. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.